properly this time, eh? Uh, Indeed. Um, <laughs> yeah, welcome everybody to the open evening. Uh, sit back and relax. We're just going to spend like sort of 20 minutes, 30 minutes talking about cybersecurity as a career, about CapSoc, how we can help. Um, <clears throat> so we're in the, the business of unlocking unlocking your potential. So we reskill and retrain adults into cybersecurity professionals at no upfront costs in exchange for a percentage of your future income uh, once you land a high paying job. And that's called an income share agreement. We'll get to that later. Loads of questions around that. So we invest in you. So our priority is is your success, basically. So if you don't go on and get hired, um, then it's reflected on us. So we do everything we can to make sure that we are aligned in terms of your success and your outcomes and what we're trying to achieve. So our intensive online program lasts four months full time or six months part time costs zero pounds until you land a job paying over twenty seven thousand pounds. Then you pay Capswap 15 percent of your income for 36 months, capped at a maximum of £18,000. More on that later. So why are we doing this? Well, there's an urgent cybersecurity skills gap right now. Every year, there's a deficit of around 10,000 cybersecurity professionals in the UK, and we're here to plug that gap. You know, em uh, employers and, and people need people like yourselves who are open to reskilling in cyber, and we need more people. Uh, so cyber skills are in huge demand right now in the UK and all across the, all across the world. And that, that demand is growing as well as we move further into a digital age. So what we've done is redesigned higher education. We have an inclusive admissions process where anybody with the potential and the willingness to learn can come along and change their career into cybersecurity. We've de developed a world-class training curriculum, uh, which was built in collaboration with cybersecurity employers and wrapped around the education is one-to-one -one learner support, all the support you, support you, can, uh, you can need uh, so we can truly unlock your potential and kickstart your career. So what we have is an intensive cybersecurity security boot camp 16 weeks full time which is 20 and it's 25 hours per week we'll get onto the schedule soon 26 weeks part time with 12 to 15 hours of live instructor led classes um, delivered on our digital campus careers help and one to one support and importantly no upfront costs to access the opportunity um, so a career in cybersecurity, uh, so we want to uh, bust some myths and just tell you about, about what it's actually like to work in cyber and to learn about cyber. Um, so Lorna, uh, Lorna, Andrea, over, over to you, I think, for, for this slide. The, the cyber sector is huge. It's very diverse. There's lots and lots of opportunity to, to go into a number of different careers. And one of the things we're keen to do is bust the myth that it's going to be a a full-on 100% tech skills course. Of course, they're in there. Um, of course, they're essential to understand those and develop those. But it's not the only thing that's needed in industry. So in-demand skills, including problem-solving, communication, and willingness to learn, actually are listed year on year as the top skills needed in industry. And by the curriculum design, we'll focus on these elements. Uh, there's countless roles which don't use tech and many which do. So whether you love it, I, I can't remember which of the learners said it, Steve, I think, some bits you'll love and some bits you'll, you'll not love so much. And I think what's critical is, get, is you get the opportunity to see both where your strengths lie and what kind of opportunities are out, out there for you in terms of a role. So, Lana, yeah, do you yeah, want no, the next yeah. Bit? For sure, I think um, just as, as Andrea said, there's so many different opportunities in cyber. It's such a wide spectrum um, and so many areas that you can focus on. And there are some sort of underpinning skills and, and knowledge that you need to go into you know, any of these roles, but you can focus and specialise on, on things that really pique your interest. Um, and hopefully you'll get to know a bit more of those as you go through through the course. Uh, but I think it's really important to say that it really isn't just about those tech skills. In fact, you know, as hiring managers ourselves, we know when, when we were looking to hire people, the tech skills you can teach when they're in, in the company with you. The important bits, a lot of it is around those problem solving skills, the communication, um, you know, the way that you, that you, approach things you just the justification for your rationale and your decision making and those are the things that we really try to build um as part of the curriculum as well i'm just going to bring one of the learners in here i'm going to bring tj i'm going to bring you in just because you're in my eye line i was actually when i first started the course i think i was focused on pen testing and sock and then when i started the course i was like oh my goodness there's so much in the industry that you don't really know about until you start to learn about it and then you get to the position where you're like well what do I do now because there's so many things that interest me there's so many things out there there's so many choices there's so many opportunities so um when you start the course you'll be like wow there's a, there's a lot more to the industry than 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 you know until you actually start um capstone course 
So it's really good. All right. So we're just going to go into the Caps Lock program, um, have a look at that and what it's all about. Okay, so the curriculum. Definitely over to you two for this. <laughs> <laughs> you this time, Laura. Okay, so the, the, the whole curriculum, the approach we took with the development of the curriculum, as Andrew said, it's based on, on sort of many years' experience in education for us, but also being out there in the sector and understanding what, what the problems um, industry face day to day. Um, the pedagogical approach that we use is team-based learning and problem-based learning. Um, and it's basically, in essence, what it is, is that you, you start with problems and what skills you need to solve those problems. So every day in the classroom, our learners are working in their teams, um, sort of doing handles on application exercises to try and solve problems that they will face out, out in the sector when they go into these roles. And it helps to bring... Um, bring about and, and improve those skills that are really needed out in the sector at the moment. Team-based learning in itself is a whole methodology that's used in education. It, it's proven um, for some sectors. We used it ourselves in a university environment in modules and it, and it just, it really fosters deeper learning. So not that certain, this sort of surface learning, it's that deeper understanding learning um, that, that you get from that. Uh, the curriculum covers kind of a wide spectrum of, of cybersecurity. You know, we're not we're not going to sit here and say you're going to do a pen testing course or a SOC course or a GRC course. You're going to do an all-round cyber security course where you will have the fundamentals to become a cyber security professional uh, that, at that entry level to be able then to go and, and focus and specialise what you need because there's some real key components that, that are needed for you to go out there. So we, we look at things like, um, and it's a wide range from understanding business, so understanding where security sits in the business and the importance of that, where, what the business um, objectives might be, stakeholders, their my metrics, culture, ethics, right then to sort of that full on pen testing, SOC analyst, sort of hands on a little bit more technical and using the technology. Um, in, in amongst the curriculum, or that as well, we help to build what we call impact skills. So that communication, the confidence, the working in teams, the collaboration, the problem solving as well. The curriculum and the, the actual course is certified. So you have the you have our, our certificate. You will graduate with a certificate from CapTalk, which is certified by the Chartered Institute of Information Security. Um, and it's and you also have the and we'll go on to that, the opportunity to sit some um, additional industry certs as well outside of, of the curriculum but everything that we do in the curriculum will build you for those certs as well there is some additional work that you have to do to get them because they are um, external to the caps lock program uh, so no and I don't know that it comes later on but perhaps it's worth mentioning that because we look at learning skills through solving problems when it comes to interview um, learners have had real opportunity to, to talk and discuss around some of the problems they've already solved. And the feedback so far has been actually it's made that interview process that much more um, engaging for them, but also more confidence building in it. So uh, perhaps we come on to that a little bit later on. In terms of the curriculum, I think what's been interesting is that some learners have started out, as TJ said, I'm going to be a pen tester. That's really where I want to be. And having experienced quite a wide range of cyber opportunities within the curriculum, I've said, actually, no, that's not me. Having seen what it's all like, I now want to go and look at focusing on risk or whatever it is. So people have changed their minds from having the opportunity to experience lots of different things. All right. So here's the curriculum outline. Run through that. Yeah, I guess this highlights some of the problems we, we, we're solving. It really is a problem first curriculum. So that rather than just learning a skill and thinking, well, where would that fit in in industry or in terms of doing a role, this shows you what problem you're solving and then what skills you develop to be able to solve that particular problem. Um, at the start, the, the problems, um, I guess at the end, really, the problems become ever more complex um, and that you, you're feeding back on things you've learned earlier to solve the later problems. You start by looking at understanding the business, as Lorna said, uh, we then move on to the biggest problem of the curriculum around security by design. And that encompasses a number of different skills and, and key areas. Uh, okay. So you move through a number of different focus areas um, within that you solve a number of different problems. Yeah, I think it's important to say, actually, um, you know, and we'll get to sort of culture caps lock and we're all about sort of being open and honest and transparent with everything. It is a very intense programme. You know, if you're looking at 
changing your career in, in 16 weeks, it, it's got to be, or 26 weeks, and it's full on and it's intense. Um, you know, and there's times where we've we've just had to pull it back a bit and and dial sort of the pace down just because you can see the learners. Um, but, you know, hopefully you, you get so much out of it and it sets you up really well. Um, I don't know whether a learner wants to jump in on that and just to test to that, because I know <laughs> there were times when you probably thought, wow, this is so full on. <laughs> it, it, it is full on. I mean, it's 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 bizarre. There, I mean, there, there's a certain amount of um, ebb and flow to it, but there were a couple of weeks that were just the, the pace was insane. But you were very nice to us, and you then gave us a, a really gentle week off the back end of it. But I think I think it's worth pointing out that even though it is full on and it is intensive, uh, at least four of us who have got an evening off have decided to come and spend it here um, because actually it's a really cool place to be. Yeah, exactly what Rob said. It, it, there is a couple of times where you kind of go, oh, my head, it really does hurt. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> never, ever allow that to get you either because if you are really struggling, every single one of the, the mentors or whoever are more than happy to talk to you. And if you are really strong, you just go to them and you say, look, I'm having a pretty bad day. Can you help? And they're always there, always. So you've, you've definitely got no problems in the way of being able to approach anyone. Thank you, Joe. Cheers. Right. Okay, so we have, um, you undertake the course entirely on our digital campus. Um, so it's all online from the comfort of your sofa. You can wear your pyjamas whilst you reskill and start a new <laughs> career in cyber. <laughs> I certain, certainly wearing my pyjamas now. Um, so we have on the digital campus, um, full learning management system, and everything's integrated and, and in one place for you. So we use Zoom as the uh, Zoom for education as the as the virtual classroom. Um, so you, this is your home, and you get very much used to it. And you, we use things like breakout rooms to put you into teams. Um, and uh, whilst you're in your teams, the tutors come round and pop in, etc. Um, we use G Suite for education. Um, so you get your own caps lock email and everything you we use is single sign on. So a really integrated digital campus. Got a load of hands on cyber labs, so you get access to around 1,200 cyber labs. Uh, through a number of platforms we use slack as well as a communication tool many of you have, have been exposed to slack already in the the open capsule slack but when you enroll you go into your own cohort slack and you're in a team with your um a slack channel with your with your team as well um, and then we use team-based learning so around a lot of collaboration documents and some software we use there as well to to do tbl online uh, and everything's really nicely integrated and, and put together as well so the part-time schedule um, is 26 weeks, evening lessons, which run 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., Monday to Thursday, uh, with the occasional weekend lesson as well. So it's around two to three Saturdays every month. You'll be in the classroom again, 9.30 to 12.30 p.m. We expect around 90% attendance. We understand that life happens, but to get the most out of CapShop, you need to be in the class. Because if you miss a lesson, it's, you know, it's live, instructor-led, you're with your team undertaking projects, etc. You need to be there. So it's important that you have the availability to attend at least 90% of the lessons. Um, the part-time schedule, there's another cohort starting on the 30th of August, uh, which runs through to the 4th of March, 2022. And there'll be a little break for Christmas built in there as well. And you can see the, the sort of the class schedule on, a, on an evening. That's just an example. Um, some of the, you know, it changes depending on the lesson. But, you know, you join the class, we do an introduction. You might do um, individual um, tests and then a team-based test. And then you'll go on to do a, a team-based learning exercise as well. And then we'll cap everything off with a mini lecture um, based on that topic. And then on the full-time schedule, it's 16 weeks. It's 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., Monday to Friday, so it's full time. And that cohort starts on the 16th of August and runs through to the 3rd of December. It's important to say that on both cohorts, you're expected to do a certain amount of self-study. It's around five to 10 hours a week, it varies. All right, so um, going on to learner support now. So as you go through the educational program, and there's a number of support channels um, for the August cohort. So one-to-one -one professional coaching with uh, Christina. One-to-one um, -one careers counselling and support. Um, so both careers counselling with Gary and myself, and uh, support in terms of you know mental health first aiders. Um, you can talk to the tutors whenever the team is always available. 
All right, so uh, certifications. So as you go through the course, you'll have the opportunity to sit certifications as well. So you graduated uh, certified and booted, ready to go, um, licenses to trade. Uh, and we support you through there as well. So there's five certifications included. That's the CompTIA Security Plus, uh, the British Computer Society's CISMP, Cloud Security Alliance's CCSK, and BSI. I think we've got BSI on the call actually tonight um, somewhere. Let me... Um... And then we've got the um, CCSP as well. So that's our own certification, which is uh, accredited um, by the Chartered Institute of Information Security as well. So that's all included in, the, in your tuition fees. Um, anything else to add there, and Lawns around the certs? Um, just, just to say that the certifications and the industry certifications are, are the, you know, they're obviously external and they're, they're an added extra for you. You know, certifications are a, an interesting interesting one across the um the sector but you know i think it's it's very clear and, and jonathan and gary can probably talk a bit more about that but when you're going through recruiters and things like that there is often um things on there that that you need just to to sort of get get through the door um so it's there just to help you with that that career move as well and that career change um but mm. the course in itself is served by, by the chartered institute and that's that's what the curriculum is based around the caps lock course not around external certifications yeah. It's an interesting question, Chris, actually. How did we decide on these particular certificates? I, it was a combination of industry requirements, so what potential employers were asking us for, um, and it covers the, the wide range of cyber skills that we look at developing within individuals. I, I think key to it really was making sure that learners at the other end of the program were as employable as possible, but also it demonstrated the breadth and capability as well. So we did look at a few others, but I think these are seen as the key ones. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Antonia, good evening. Uh, sorry to spring the surprise on you. Um, but <laughs> Antonia, um, you're, you're at BSI at the moment, aren't you? Um, I am indeed, yes. I, I'm just going to line you up to say great things about Caps Lock and how excited you are to partner <laughs> with us. <laughs> Thank you very much for, for unmuting me and I'm really happy to be here. So excited to be here to, to, to see what you're doing and to, to see some of the learners and hear some of you speaking about the course. So I have been speaking with Caps Lock for, for a couple of months now. So we've been talking about how we build our BSI um, requirements, 27,001 course into the programme. So it is part of the program and um, and we are really excited so you have teaming up beautifully Jonathan we're really really excited to partner with Capstock because everything about the program the way that it provides that platform platform for people to change career into such an exciting um industry you know it, it's I already knew that you know, we're crying, crying out for talented people in this area. Um, you know, we provide a lot of training and certification to organisations around cybersecurity. Um, and it's, it's, it's such an exciting place to be, but seemed inaccessible in many ways before. But actually, you know, I've, I've been telling lots of people about Capstock. I think it's a fantastic thing that you're doing. And I'm so excited that BSI are part of the whole journey. Uh, so we're going to talk about some of the learner outcomes. So around 20% of the learners currently enrolled have already landed cybersecurity careers. Um, but yeah, we have we have Dale. So previously in our, a, a British Army dog handler, um, he landed a job with um, Allianz as a cyber training officer. Um, we've got Sean, who was a uh, Debenham store manager, now an insider threat analyst at Dyson. Um, Joe, who used to, who was a recent actually uh, graduate I was working at Sainsbury's enrolled and now as a vulnerability analyst at Hargreaves Lansdowne. And then finally, Rebecca, previously a music composer. She's now a cyber awareness officer at Pinsent Mason's, one of the biggest legal firms in the world. So, yeah, some amazing stories and um, many learners currently out in interview, many learners concentrating on, on studies before they go and, and go on that job hunt. So uh, a couple of things there. You know, we don't we don't force you into any particular role. You know, we help you and uh, help you achieve your goals in terms of where you want to go. Um, but also, we don't force you to to actively seek employment whilst you're on the course. If you need to concentrate on your studies first, we continue to support you as alumni. So we've got an alumni program as well. Um, so you'll always be part of Capstock. Uh, we'll never let you go. <laughs> Sounded a little bit <laughs> ominous. <laughs> yeah, so here, here are some of the logos who are currently interviewing our learners. Um, I think one thing we've seen from industry, the most important attribute they look for is a willingness to learn. And just being at Capsock, undertaking the, the rigorous 
schedule is a real sign that you are the individuals um, the, the sector is, is looking for. So, yeah, some amazing doors are open and, and you know, Gary and, and myself couldn't, and, and the wider team continue to work to open those doors um, for those who are enrolled at Capsock. Cool. And here's just sort of um, an overview of some of the outcomes at the moment we've seen so far. So these are graduates who, who are still on the course. They don't have the certifications yet because they're, they're last, but they're still able to land some really impressive jobs. Um, so it's, it's Rebecca, who's the training and awareness officer, formerly a music composer, landed a job with Pinsent Mason's over 40K as her starting salary. Um, so we're seeing around 29.3K as the, the average salary right now. We expect that to increase as, as learners um, graduate and get their certifications as well. They're really excited about the outcomes um, to come. But yeah, you can see the wide array of different job roles people are looking at as well. So we've got everything from SOC analysts. Um, we've got someone who's, who's just about to accept an offer as a, as a penetration tester, junior offensive cybersecurity consultant, you know, data privacy consultant, et cetera. So it really, it gives you, the course gives you the, the ability to access a, a wide variety of roles in cyber. Cool. Um, so on to finance, the last one. Unfortunately, we can't give it away for free, um, but we've got an amazing model uh, to achieve sustainability and, and to open the door for everybody who's got the potential, and that's the income share agreement. So uh, no upfront costs to enroll. We invest in you. So go through the entirety of the course, get all the support, um, but, but then um, you only begin to repay tuition when you land a job paying over £27,000. And at that point, uh, you pay back Capsock 15% of your future income for 36 months. Um, it's capped to 18,000 pounds. And if you don't repay after six years, then it's completely canceled. So it's a really uh, friendly way of, of financing tuition. Um, it's not classed as debt either, so it doesn't go on your credit um, record. Happy to, to answer more questions around the income share agreement, but um, they've been fantastic so far. You can pay up front if you want to. This might be employer sponsored, for example, for some of you. Uh, 7,500 pounds plus that. So uh, a total of 9,000 pounds if you're paying as an individual personally. Um, but you can finance that tuition as well. So this is personal finance. You can pay that £9,000 over two to six years at around 10% APR is the current rate. That's with our partner called Lendwise. Um, or you can pay the £9,000 in 12 installments at 0% APR. That's with our partner called Noma. So there's a number of options available to open the door and get you in and, and enroll. Uh, so Second to last slide, and then we'll open it up for, for a break so we can get some drinks and then the Q&A. Um, but to apply, most of you have done this, but you register on the website. So go to capsock.ac or enroll.capsock.ac and go ahead and register. There'll be an application form which you'll need to submit. And then from that point, what we'll do, we'll send you a conditional offer of enrollment if we think your application is suitable. Um, and then you'll be asked to do some pre-course work. So the conditional offer will say, um, you can enroll on the course as long as you complete the pre-course work. That pre-course work is around 20 to 25 hours of self-study. Uh, we'll support you through there as well. So help is available on Slack, but it really gives you the foundations uh, needed to be successful on the course. So when you get there on day one, you've got the prerequisite um, information uh, to get started. Um, once you've done pre-course, you'll get what's called an unconditional offer. Um, so, and then we're going to setting up your finance. That might be an ISA, it might be the loan, et cetera. And then we're off to the races and you can uh, launch your cybersecurity career. Um, and that is can I just, pretty much everything. Uh, apart can from I what just say about, say. yeah, just, just about that pre-course as well. I think it's a two-way street. It gives you an opportunity, a, a risk-free opportunity to see if, if cyber is the, the kind of area that you going to enjoy you know it's very different um and and the learners will attest that it's very different to the course because obviously you're not doing it in teams you're not using the the same sort of pedagogical approach it's very much independent study watching videos and um, working through labs individually um, but it, it should give you a little bit of a flavor of of some of the concepts of cyber and whether it's something that you're going to enjoy um, so it definitely is worth if you haven't you know just getting in there and, and giving it a go and seeing if it's for you um, there's absolutely no no risk to it to yourself. You don't sign up to anything at that point at all. Um, but it, it is a good way for you to get a bit of a taster of cyber. Mm. 